Welcome to this week's video update. I want to recap the trades from the week. Today is November 11th, Friday. So going into the weekend. Wow, what a crazy week. Obviously, the presidential election had a lot to do with the volatility. So let's jump in and take a look at the different positions, first of which was eBay. If you remember, we put on a, a strangle in eBay right here, right before earnings, had a big move against us. We rolled down our calls, continued to, to try to get a little bit of a move up and just grinded, grinded lower, 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 lower to the point where we, we wanted to get out uh, for a small loss. Now, obviously, had we waited a couple more days, we would have gotten a little bounce up and probably got out, out for a profit, but hindsight's always 2020. Took a little small $24 loser on the whole trade, so not bad for a huge move against us, and that's, and that's what we're looking to do. If we have to adjust a, a strangle, we want to get out for a small loser, break even, maybe a potentially a small winner. In this case, it ended up being a small loser. Uh, EEM, this is a position we just put on. You can see we've had a huge spike in implied volatility. If we take a look at where we're at, we just put this one on so we're pretty well centered on EEM. We'll continue to wait and hopefully we get a contraction in volatility. Take that one off. EWW, that position's gone because we took that trade off. That was a trade we put on a couple weeks ago. We got a, a dip in implied volatility here. Took that one off for a nice 50% of max profit winner. Uh, GDX has had a huge move down. Again, a huge spike in implied volatility. So with GDX, we're right here. We just breached the short strike to the downside. So I considered making an adjustment here on Friday, but I, I wanted to give it the weekend. Hopefully, we, maybe we get a little bit bounce bounce back up and we can just continue to hold on to that one without adjusting. But we'll, uh, we'll keep a close eye on that one for Monday. So expect a potential adjustment if, it, if we stay right here or, or start to move down a little bit. If you look at, because, because implied volatility spikes so much, we've still got a lot of, a lot of uh, what I call juice in the, in the call side. So if we click off of our put here, let me reset this. So if we click off of our put and just show the call, as you can see, you know we've we've still got another fifty dollars left in premium. So I'm not in a huge hurry to make an adjustment there. If uh, if implied volatility was had contracted and we were right here, I probably would have made the adjustment much quicker. But you can give it a little bit more time, you know, between here and the break even, because I've, implied volatility is so high. We look at GLD, this is one that we made an adjustment to. So we had an iron condor on and it made a move, big move down, breached our break even. So our first adjustment, like I teach in the course, is to remove the untested side. So we exited the call side, we always leave the tested side on. And then in addition to that, the second adjustment technique that we use is we just add another so let's click off that. We just add another iron condor right there on top of price. So we've got a perfectly centered iron condor. So hopefully we can get some theta decay from that uh, from that trade. And then if we get a move up, we could get out of our, our uh, initial iron condor for a break even or potentially a small profit and maybe make money on both of them. But that's the idea is we want to offset some of those initial losses with another condor to get some more theta decay on the trade. Uh, IWM, this is one that, that that exploded higher today, which is which is really crazy because you see the Russell or IWM was over up 2.3 percent. S&Ps were actually down on the day. Uh, so what we're going to do is is we're actually going to I let that one go a little bit further. Uh, if it doesn't make a, a big move down. Uh, on Monday, I'm going to go ahead and make that adjustment. But again, I wanted to keep some short delta over the weekend. And because if we do get, because of things being so volatile right now, typically if it hit right here, I would have made the adjustment. But I wanted to keep overall short delta in our portfolio. So instead of putting on a separate trade to add that short bias, I just left this trade on. 
If we do get a move, great. We'll be back in back on the dance floor, back in business. If not, we'll go ahead and make that adjustment pretty quickly on Monday. So look out for that. QQQ, uh, put this on a few days ago. This is uh, still in our in our range, so nothing to do there. But wait, hopefully we can get a little bit of a down move, get back into the profit, maybe get some volatility contraction, and take that off for a winner. SLV is a trade that we put on today. We put on a straddle, and remember, a straddle is is just like a strangle, except for instead of selling out of the money puts and out of money calls, we sold the at the money strikes. Uh, to give us a higher peak. And on a straddle, we look to get out of these trades at 25% of the credit received or 25% of max profit. So uh, we just put this one on, so hopefully we can get a, a quick contraction in volatility and, and take this one off. We'll see what happens next week. SPY, this is an iron condor that we put on. We've, we've had, a, again, a pretty decent move to the upside. Still within our range, nothing to do here. You don't, want to, you don't want to adjust too soon for sure. So we'll continue to wait on that one. And then TLT, similar to GLD, had a big move down. So we adjusted that by taking off the call side. And so we leave the put side on and hopefully we get a little bit of a move back up. We can take that off. If not, we've made our secondary adjustment, which is adding another iron condor. We're still fairly centered there, so we just We'll see what happens next week on that one. XBI, this was a this was a strangle that we had on. Uh, continued to move higher, so essentially all we did was we rolled our puts up to take in more credit. We narrowed our range, and so now we just continue to let this set and and uh, collect that theta. If it makes another move higher, we'll have to make another adjustment. If it moves back down, we'll continue to wait until we can take that one off for a potentially a small profit. XLU, uh, another big mover like, like most things right now. Big move down. We're pretty close to our, our short strike, so no need to make an adjustment yet, but we'll be watching that one closely for next week. So keep in mind, I, th I think things are still going to continue to be volatile because of the election. So just remember to keep your the number of contracts and your size extremely small and continue to put on new trades so that you can benefit when this volatility does contract because eventually it will. Hope that was helpful. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you next week.